Welcome to race day on Kids Toys Play. Pick an engine. Streamline Thomas, Nia, Lorenzo, The Hurricane, Gordon, Steven, The Rocket, Hyperglow Ishima, Rebecca, Hero, Spencer, Chocolate Covered Percy, this is Escape from the Scrapyard Thomas, Samson, Merlin the Completely Visible, Turbo Boost Diesel, and introducing Gina of Italy. Stefano is judging the races and he says the winner gets... A Thomas Millie's Blind Bag! In case I play. And here's Gina of Italy, and she's got her drill with her. Hey, welcome to the channel. You better get ready to race. And first up will be the Battle of Italy as Gina takes on Lorenzo. On your marks. Get set. Go! And here they go. Looks like Gina has a slight lead, but Lorenzo should not be discounted. He is very quick. As Gina is coming around, and it looks, oh wow, she's got the inside track. That's going to give her a definite lead over Lorenzo. As she comes around, she's already on the hill, well ahead of Lorenzo, and her newest engine seems to be the fastest at this point, and she wins and eliminates a little Lorenzo. Well, a good first impression. Congratulations, Gina. Next up, we've got the Silver Streak Spencer going up against Turbo Boost Diesel, who doesn't have any Turbo Boost. On your marks, get set, go! And here we are, and it looks like Turbo Diesel has a little bit of a lead coming over the hill, Spencer following him. We'll see who has the inside track. I think it is Spencer coming on the outside. It is Turbo Diesel. Who will be out of the gates first? It looks like Spencer, but will Turbo Diesel be able to catch him as they meet up over the hill? Oh, no! Turbo Diesel, unreal. You have been knocked off, and that gives Spencer the lead, and it gives him the win overall. Even at a regular pace, it looks like Turbo Diesel has problems on the corners. Congratulations, Spencer. Here's a couple of big tender engines. Rebecca versus Hero. On your marks. Get set, go! And here we are, hello, Rebecca. Taking it to Hero on the rails as she comes over and Hero stays on track and her passing Stefano. Looks like Rebecca has the outside track but she definitely has the lead and she will be out of the gates well before Hero in the background. And she comes over the hills, oh no! She got caught, looks like Hero Got himself caught, but worked it out. Rebecca needs a little bit of help, but she goes on and she wins. Hero of the Rails, not as heroic as he thinks he is. Congratulations, Rebecca. Next up, we have Steven the Rocket versus Nia of Kenya. On your marks. Get set. Go! And here we are, and it is Nia of Africa, slightly ahead of Steven the Rocket. As she is, wow, she is really going up and around the hill, and she will take the outside track. Steven has the inside track. But will it much matter? I think Steven now is a little bit ahead, but we'll see how Nia catches up. Is she, oh no! Oh, they both got a little bit of issues. And they both figured it out at the same time. This is very close, but I think Steven has managed to slip ahead. He has, and he wins! A very close race with lots of mishaps. Congratulations, Steven. You have eliminated Nia. We're halfway through the first round, and here we have Escape from the Scrapyard Thomas, who surprised to be up against Merlin. He's amazed that he can see him probably. Actually, both these engines are from Journey Beyond Sodor, aren't they? And they're both from the scrapyard. And they're both in the scrapyard. On your marks, get set, go! Whoa, and this is very evenly matched. They look almost neck and neck, these two. As they come over, oh no, Merlin looks like he needs a little bit of a hand and that's gonna hurt him as Escape from the Scrapyard, oh! Thomas, oh, look at that, oh no, no, Thomas needs a hand. That tender of Merlin actually helped him, but it doesn't help him enough as Thomas has escaped from the scrapyard. We'll go on and get the fireworks. You've been eliminated, Merlin. Merlin has been eliminated, and nobody is as surprised as Thomas. And we have a best friend battle streamlining. Thomas takes on this chocolate-covered Percy Magoo. On your marks. Get set. Go! Whoa, looks like I thought Percy might have had a little bit of advantage, but streamlining has taken them all. Oh, no, they're both stuck. Oh, and our, our helper helps out both of them. I think uh, streamlining got a little bit of a better advantage here. He's got the inside track, so he is definitely ahead at this point. Coming out, we'll see if he gets hung up on the hill again. And he does. He gets caught on the bridge, and that gives Percy the advantage to come over. But this is going to be very close. What's going to happen? Who won? It was... 
What happened there? Wow, that is ultra rare. We have actually a tie, the checkered flag and the fireworks going to both engines. Should we re-race them against each other or should we re-race them against other engines? Let's re-race them against other engines. Okay, let's split them up then. Our judge has decided that Streamline Thomas has to take on Gordon, so let's do that race instead. On your marks, get set, go! And here we have it. These two now are very evenly matched, it looks like, and Thomas has no problem going over the hill at this point. Oh no, Gordon's falling off! And Thomas has the inside leg will beat up, and they're gonna have a malfunction at the junction. And these two. It is at the junction. It is at the junction. It looks like Thomas, or sorry, Gordon rather was ready to go on the outside track. But Thomas maybe switched it for him. We'll lift up Thomas and give Gordon the right away. I don't think that's gonna be enough for Gordon as streamlining. Keeps on going on, he wins. It looks like Gordon got stuck on the bridge. Oh, Gordon. Streamline Thomas seems to be a very controversial engine, but he has eliminated Gordon at the hill. Congratulations, Thomas. Next up is Hyperglow Ashima of India up against Chocolate Covered Percy of a Chocolate Factory, maybe. On your marks, get set, go! And here we have it, another evenly rate, or pace match rather. Percy having no problems coming over. Looks like Ashima needs a little bit of a hand. And Percy will take the inside track. Ashima on the outside track. That gives Percy a distinct advantage. It looks like his front wheels might be a little bit off. But he makes it over the hill with Ashima in the background. Looks like Chocolate Cover Percy will have no problems. Ashima catching up, but it's not enough. Chocolate Cover Percy, who had that tie with Streamline Thomas, goes on and eliminates Ashima. And welcome to the final race of the first round as Hurricane takes on Samson. On your marks. Get set, go! And here they are, whoa, Hurricane, definitely in the lead. Look how slow Samson is going, but rocking like a hurricane, no problem, going over the hill, and he will get the inside lane, and he will take it with great confidence. Will he meet up? Oh, and he just rubs Samson, who's going extra slow today. Not too much for him, though. Hurricane has really gone forward, and he will get the win. Samson doesn't even make it to the hill. A very one-sided race. Samson sure is strong, but he's not that fast. Eight engines remain here in second round action as Streamline Thomas, Hurricane, Rebecca, Chocolate Covered Percy, Spencer, Escape from the Scrapyards Thomas, Steven the Rocket, and Gina will decide. First up, we'll have Gina of the Great Race versus Steven, King of the Railway. On your marks. Get set, go! Oh, it looks like Gina had a little bit of a head start, but I don't think it matters much. She's now at full train length ahead of Steven. She's going around and she will get the outside track. Oh, Steven got caught up, oh no! Oh, wow, that was so narrow. Gina with her speed, she is coming up and over the hill and she will continue on. Look at her, she's just dominating. Goes on and gets the win, Steven, my friend. Well, the rocket is fast, but not fast enough. Congratulations, Gina of Italy. It's a tender, bitter battle as Rebecca of the Steam Team takes on Spencer of the Mainland. On your marks, get set, go! And here they have it, folks. Rebecca, I think, might slightly be ahead. Oh no, she's almost gone, she has gone derailed. It looks like Spencer's losing his tender. He's on the outside track. Will Rebecca recover? And that's going to be close. Oh, and Spencer, unbelievable, just catches the tender. He is now up over the hill. Spencer's going on, looking like he is well ahead of Rebecca, who finishes last. In what many would consider an upset, Spencer takes out Rebecca. Up next, we have a battle of the blue as streamlining Thomas from the great race takes on Escape from the Scrapyard Thomas of Journey Beyond Sodor. On your marks, get set, go! And the number one engine is in first place as the number one engine is also in second place. Looks like Escape, oh wow, well, they are very evenly matched at this point, but it looks like Streamlining has the inside track and he comes out first, giving him a slight advantage over Escape from the Scrapyard. Oh no, he got caught up by the bridge, that gives Escape. From the scrapyard, Thomas, time to escape and get the win. Streamlining eliminated. Wow, escape from the scrapyard. He is shocked that his win streak has continued. Streamline Thomas is eliminated. Final race of the second round has Hurricane of Journey Beyond Sodor up against Chocolate Cover Percy. On your marks, get set, go! And here we go. It looks like Chocolate Cover Percy is a little bit ahead, but he has problems coming up the hill. Hurricane, oh no, he has problems coming down the hill. Chocolate Cover Percy is back on track and on time, and here is 
Hurricane as he takes the outside track, Percy on the inside track, and we will come out and they will be very close, but I think Percy might have a slight advantage as he falls off again, Hurricane! Unbelievable, this has been just a big tragedy. Hurricane goes on and wins. Good job for the Hurricane, takes out that pesky Percy. Here we are at the final four. Hopefully your engine is still in it with Gina, Hurricane, Escape from the Scrapyard, Thomas and Spencer. First up, we have a couple of contestants in the great race as Gina from the shunting competition, I believe, yeah. takes on Spencer who competed in the great race. On your marks. Get set, go! And here we have, it looks like Gina definitely ahead and she is going well ahead of Spencer this time. Has no problems negotiating over that hill. She will go on and take the outside track but she is already past the halfway point. It looks like they will be even coming out. Maybe Spencer a little bit ahead. It doesn't much matter though. Gina is really driven and oh no, Spencer has had problems. Gina will go on, get the fireworks and check and flag. Spencer, you can't even keep your tender on, my friend. Eh? And the newest engine to the island of Sodor, Gina, has taken out Spencer and she will go on to the final. And who will face Gina? It is a battle from the two Journey Beyond Sodor engines, Hurricane and Escape from the Scrapyard Thomas. On your marks, get set, go! And here they have it, folks. It is definitely Thomas ahead of Hurricane at this point. Thomas very surprised by all the wins that he's had so far. He gets the advantage with the inside track and he is definitely ahead at this point. Keeps on, keep it on, and he will go up the hill, and he is well ahead at this point. Goes on, we'll get the checkered flag, as Hurricane barely makes it over the hill. Well, Hurricanes are not as dangerous as we thought they were. Congratulations, Thomas, on making it to the final race. And welcome to the final race, as Escape from the Scrapyard, Thomas takes on Gina, our newest engine. Stefano, ready to decide who will win, and get the Thomas Minis blind bag. On your marks, get set. Go! And here we have it, and they are neck and neck. Unbelievable, looks like Gina has a little bit of a lead, and she goes over the hill, but Thomas is making up after it, and he has the inside track. This could be very close. He is coming out, and he is definitely ahead of Gina at this point. Gina catching up and making it over the hill. This will be very close, but I think it might ultimately go to. Gina of Italy has had a fantastic debut and made it all the way to the final, but today's big winner is Escape from the Scrapyard, Thomas Stefano. Are you ready to present them with the blind bag? And who will it be? It looks like it's... Hawaiian Birdie. Wow, you know that right off the bat. Hawaiian Birdie, look at that. Wood paneling, and he's got plants, and he's got surfboard. They really, wow, they really thought of this one. Birdie looking absolutely fantastic. All decked out, wood paneling, surfboards. Tom is surprised at the win, but congratulations. And Stefano says, welcome to Birdie. Maybe not in so many words.